All right, let's talk about job interviews, work presentations, or anything really where you're going to be seen by a person or people that you value highly, that you feel has some type of superiority over you, whether it be a job, a job title, or um, yeah, let's just stick with that. A job, a job interview, a work presentation, a speech where you have the stage. It just feels like the spotlight's on you. And very often you're going to be talking to people that you that you value their opinions of you on. That makes sense. I think you know what I'm trying to say. I remember for me. I had a job in a job interview, a job interview when I was, I want to say, 17, maybe 18, at a car, at a car shop, at a, at a you rent a, you rent a car or you buy a car a car a car dealership. It still sounds wrong, um, and I cried as soon as I left the doors. My mom was waiting for me at like Tim Hortons across the street, or she was waiting to pick me up. She asked me, how did it go? Just burst out in tears because I just remember feeling so much shame and embarrassment. When I walked in, the person I wanted to speak with wasn't there. So I had to ask the, the, re, the receptionist, which was like, there was two, two people at the, at the, at the reception. And I just remember trying to ask for this guy's name is, uh, let's just say his name is Tony. I think it might've been Tony. Um, I was like, is 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 Tony here? And I just saw their face and I was like, fuck, I will be working with these people. Or in my head, I'm like, these are people I'm going to be working with. And this is my first impression. And it was a weird thing where I had to wait for Tony to finish a meeting. And then I walked in and blocked on every single word. Every single word. My, my, my address, my name, why I think I'm a good fit, everything. It was just one big haze and one big, like, ultimate slap of shame like the biggest wave the biggest hit of shame i've ever felt so i know how embarrassing and shameful the in the in the interviews can be and a couple of years after that i had the best interview of my life and it's because of the mindset shifts that i've had where on this interview he hired me on the spot and we just had a casual, calm conversation where I felt so confident. I, I felt no anxiety and it was just like, this feels so good just to flow. And now I haven't had a job, in, a job interview in a long time because I help people who stutter and I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't have a boss, so there's no one I'm gonna talk to. Um, but I know now if I were to have a job in a job interview, there'd be no anxiety. I would love it. I would actually love to do one. Um, so let's talk about how to make that a reality for you as well. Before we get into it, I want to make clear. I help people who stutter. I overcame stuttering myself. And right now, I'm hosting a six week intensive where we would be working hand in hand for six weeks, overcoming stuttering together, you along with like 10 to 15 other people who, who stutter as well. All right, it starts on, Feb on February 19th. So very soon, I don't know when you're seeing this, but it starts very, very soon. And it may be the last one I'm doing. I've done one of these be one of these six week in six week intensives before amazing amazing success you can look at my ins you can look at my instagram for the testimonials on that or you can just ask me um 
on DMs. And I'm hosting another one February 19th, very, very soon. So if you want to work hand in hand with me and let me guide you through all the things that I've done to overcome stuttering so you can speak freely, so you don't have to think about speaking, so you can be free and just be your fucking authentic self, then somewhere down below in the description, there's my Instagram, there's my email, and there's my WhatsApp. Just DM me the word stutter, and I will DM you back all the, all the details of what the six week intensive in what this in what this includes i was gonna say how long it'll be but it's all it's obviously six weeks and the price and the things that you'll be doing all right if you're interested in this it may be the last one i'm doing act now there's actually only a few spots left i'm not just saying that for us for for scare for scare for a scarcity tactic really only a few spots left especially by the time you see this so dm me and i'll let you know if there's spots left and i'll also send you all the details for my six week intensive so let's dive into the job interview i just actually talked to one of my clients who's in the six week intensive he joined the six week intensive hasn't haven't started yet but since he joined we still talk um and he told me he's doing a, pre a presentation, a work presentation very soon. And I'll tell you what I told him because he asked for tips on it. And this is what I told him. And it's the same thing with job, with job interviews. 90% of how the job interview goes or how the work presentation goes or how the speech goes or even 90% of how you're able to express yourself is based upon what you did before speaking. All right. So I told my client that if you wake up in the morning, you get, you don't even get out of bed. You just pick up your phone and you start scrolling, 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 scrolling. Or like, oh shit, there's time to do this job, not job interview, this work presentation. You stop scrolling, you get, you get, you, you take a shower, you get closed, you get clothed, you just put on clothes. Um, and then you go to the work presentation, you're going to fucking bomb it. Like, I didn't tell him that. But you will. I would. If, if I distract myself in the morning and I don't have good habits, there's no way it's going to turn out good. No way. Okay? So you have to have habits you do before these big things so that you can handle the stress when it comes. You can handle that pressure when it comes. All right. And there's habits you can do. There's habits you need to do before you go into these stressful, uh, stressful arenas, stressful, si stressful situations. So you, you don't get put in your head. So you don't start thinking about your speech. But so you stay in your body, so you so you stay chill, so you stay authentic. That's one thing I'll share. the The next thing that I shared with my client, I'll share it with you too, is when you walk in, when you walk into the interview or to that speech or to the presentation, don't wait to be greeted. Don't wait to be said, hi, come take a seat. You go and introduce yourself without, he without hesitation. You don't even allow your brain to work at that time. You just walk in and you go, Bleh, and you just walk up to, you walk up to somebody. You say, hey, I'm Chase. And you say your name, you don't say I'm Chase. You say, hey, I'm Chase. And if it's at a work presentation, you're like, hey, you don't say, hey, I'm Chase. If you, know the, if you know the person, you say, hey, good morning. Hey, what's up, man? Good morning. Hey, what's up? Good morning. You go and introduce yourself without thinking about it. And that puts you in a more, in a more confident mode. That puts you in a more expressive mode. That puts you in a mode that's out of your head. And you're not, you are taking action. You're facing that fear. That's the best thing that you can do when you walk in. And when it's the job, the job, the job interview, you, 
like when I when I had that nightmare of a job of a job interview, I stood in the lobby for like a minute, just like staring at the staring at the reception, thinking, should I talk to them? Should I not? Oh, I'm gonna stutter. And then I slowly creeped up to them, and then I was like, uh, d- d- I was like so not co- not committed to saying hi. If I were to redo it, I redo it again. I'd walk in, I wouldn't see Buddy, and I'd go straight to the desk. I'm like, yo, what's up? My name's Chase, and I'm here for an interview. Even if I stuttered, if I would say, hey, my name's Ch- Ch- Chase, I'm here for an in and 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 an interview that would still be 10 times better that builds my confidence because i'm taking that action so to recap what i just said do not distract yourself do some do a series of a series of habits that put you in your body because how you show up determines 90 percent of it if not more and then right when you walk in allow yourself to be seen be seen Don't try to hide, be seen, be open, say hi, introduce yourself even if you don't want to. And that will put you in the best mind state to go and fucking rock that in, rock the interview. Of course, there's more things that I can tap, I can tap into. I'm sure you have questions like, oh, but my interview is like this. And no, there's two people there. I I don't get to greet people. Like I'm sure there's questions you have, but of course those are, personalized questions that I work with my with my clients on and if you're someone who stutters and you're serious about overcoming stuttering I'm not just saying this I'm not going to work with people who, who stutter forever I can't and this may be my last time this may be my last six week intensive I'm not I'm not going to say it will be I'm not going to say it won't be but I'm serious when I say it may be my, my, my last six week intensive where I work with people who stutter. And there's not many spots left. And if you want all the details of what's included in this six week intensive, what, 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 what guarantees there is, there are attached to this six week intensive, everything you, you need to know to make the, to make the decision, do you want to take to take this six week intensive or not to overcome stuttering, DM me the word stutter on Instagram, um, email or WhatsApp, preferred Instagram, please do please do Instagram, but if for some reason you don't have Instagram, do email or, email or WhatsApp. DM me the word stutter on Instagram and I'll send you all the details as soon as possible to make sure you can still grab a spot as there's only a few spots left and I love you. All right, I'll see you in the DMs.